And this time I'm going to be introducing the Raised Hunting Cabin Laser Cut Wood Kit by the nice folks at Rowley's Railroad Models. Good guys. And here's a look at the packaging. This kit comes in a flat plastic, well you can call it a bag I guess. Here are the individual pieces all cut out, very nicely cut out. Now a hunting cabin I didn't think was supposed to be painted and I really like the colors that these parts came so I just left them as they are. Always Roly ends up giving you lots of tips and ideas on how to do things and usually a little background on the structure itself and pages and pages of directions. Yay, I like that. And here we are all set up ready to go. So let's have some fun with this kit. To start off with, I always do as much as possible before I take the main parts off, the walls off. So I do all the doors and the windows. Oh, and I almost forgot, a number of these parts come with sticky back already on them. You want to make sure to not glue a piece on that has this backing on it. Make sure to take the backing off. Of course, you always want to have plenty of handy helpers around to keep everything nice and square and plumb while the glue goes off. Now on the roofing, this is very nice self-stick stuff again. You want to make sure to read the directions and figure exactly what part goes where and I might have mm, actually made a little mistake. Now the trim is tiny. Okay, the whole cabin is tiny. If there is a hard part to this kit, it's those tiny little pieces. Now I always like to make sure to test fit everything before I start using the glue. It's always a better bet. Now this is a raised cabin. So you have little feet to go underneath. Make sure to look at the directions and understand how they want them. And then of course you put the box on the base. Make sure you take your time with this and get the box exactly correct on the base. Then you put the other bits of the front and roof on and wow you're almost done. Look at that. Now I say almost because I always like to put a little weathering on my whatevers and this is just some of my dry weathering powders not too much just a little hint for a little bit of color always makes them look better and i gotta tell you this is this is a tiny 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 little kit that's a dime there next to it makes a dime look big doesn't it and here we are all finished up with the raised hunting cabin by Rolly's railroad models and this was a fun little kit it took me maybe an hour and a half total to build and the, these are really nice kits. This is the second one in this line that I've built. You might want to go to the eBay store that he has. He's got a number of different things and have some fun with this. Well, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this and the kit when you build it. Bye guys.